We're here at Vietti, which is in the very heart of Castiglione Filetto. In fact, right behind us, um, we've got the, the actual castle of the town. Um, so the winery is built right into it. We're going to meet with Luca, who's their winemaker. He's going to show us what, around the winery, and then we'll get a chance to taste some of their wines. Um, they do some great Barolos, as well as uh, Barbera, and um, some Arnese as well. Castiglione Filetto is in the center of the Barolo DOCG, one of the quality wine producing regions of Piedmont, and home to many wineries. Vietti is one of my favorites. The village itself dates back to the Middle Ages, when the castle in the center of the town was probably owned by feudal lords. There's a lot of history here, and Luca is well versed in it. In fact, he tells us that the winery itself is two stories high above ground and extends another three stories below ground. And the reason they chose to build down instead of creating a large modern winery is to preserve the landscape of the historic village where they're located. Pretty cool. The winery is built right into the side of the village, and from their cellars you can see the walls of the castle and the city. Unfortunately, it's also very dark down there, and we can't get a good shot. But you'll have to forgive us, since this is our first time making videos like this. It's too bad, because it's actually pretty cool down here. Looking through some of the old tunnels, that were used to sneak in and out of the city. It also makes for a wonderfully climate-controlled cellar. Our visit happens to be in the middle of bottling, so we get to see their bottler in action as it fills and corks the current releases. This is actually my first time seeing a bottling line in action. It's pretty impressive how quickly everything happens. After the tour, we move on to the tasting. We taste several wines from Vietti, including three of their single vineyard Barolos, which we taste side by side. Tasting them side by side is a really cool way to notice the intricacies of each wine and how it stands on its own. My personal favorite is the Roca Vineyard, which I think has the best balance between fruit and tannin structure. It was a really great visit to Vietti. We could have stayed all day listening to Luca's stories and histories, but we have to move on to our next winery. From Castiglione Filetto, we move on to Barbaresco, about 45 minutes northeast of Barolo. Along with Piedmont's Barolos, Wines made in the Barbaresco region are well known for their quality, longevity, and power. Barbaresco is probably best known for a producer by the name of Gaia, who produces several premium single vineyard wines. Barbaresco and Barolo are both produced using the Nebbiolo grape. Most people describe Barbaresco as the more feminine of the two wines, and I can understand this distinction. There tends to be a few more floral notes in Barbaresco, and a few more red fruit accents, slightly less leather and gamey qualities. However, I've had a number of Barbarescos that are just as powerful and certainly as long-lasting as any Barolo. We're here to visit Carome. Carome is a producer I tasted a couple years ago at a tasting in New York City. And what better way to get a better sense of their wine than to actually come visit them in person. So we're here to taste some of their Barbarescos um, and to see what other projects they're working on, see what other things they, they have going on. Um, and we're really excited about it, and let's go see what they got. At Cal Rome, we have the pleasure of meeting Paola, daughter of the winemaker and owner, Romano Romengo. She shows us around their beautiful winery and then lets us taste some of their wines, including the 2009 Barolo straight from the cask. I know, we're in Barbaresco now, but hey, maybe no one told them? We also taste the 2007, possibly 2006, Barbaresco Chiaramonti, and the 2008 Da Prove, again, I think this was the right vintage, which is a Nebbiolo Barbera blend, which is not extremely common among wineries. We love Carome's wines, and we actually decided to take a few with us, including a magnum of the 2009 Barbera. After our visit with Carome, my wife and I head through the village of Barbaresco back toward our apartment in La Mora to get ready for dinner. It was a great first day of wine tastings in Piedmont, and we're super excited for the next few days and for more tours and tastings.